J Drone here, check it out. So we got some drone solar mail. Um, before we were operating off a two watt solar panel that was charging this battery and could be charging this battery, a 12 volt battery. It'll, it'll charge a 12 volt battery and it was doing really well. Um, we got this up to correct operating voltage just off of that. We've got a 20 watt, we also have a solar controller and we have a ACDC um, converter here. That way we can plug in household items. If you can see that, you probably can't see it. Lighting in here is terrible, please bear with me. There we go, no, that ain't gonna work either. Gotta work on my lighting in here, there. Um, I'll link this, 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 all three of these items down below. All right, everything's set up. So you have the solar panel that goes into the top part here. 12 volt connected to the bottom as you can see the readout here the top part is amps coming in from the solar panel and unless the sun's out that shows 0, 0.0 now the bottom part is the voltage on the battery which does show one two bars it fluctuates from it um, that there is juice going into it what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm gonna hook up the small car solar panel and see if that changes. Just to show you, with the solar panel disconnected, we now have no more charging indication on the battery, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and hook up the other one now. So with the car one, which is outside, it's right there, we still do not see any amps um, coming in. I wish the sun would come out, that way I could show you that it definitely works, because I know it definitely works, uh, because the sun did come out once on this one, and we got up until almost like one or so but we are showing an indicator that it is charging we are at 12.0 now uh i think the next thing that i'm going to do i'm going to connect both solar panels together and plug it in there and see if we get anything still no sun out i got both of the solar panels uh connected to this it does show that it's charging i now have this connected to this and again this is all very temporary um ideally i'll get thread and screws for that um that way we can actually put these on there properly and uh obviously fasten that somewhere fasten this somewhere but what we're going to do now is we can do this on camera it only requires one i'm going to turn this on that's now on we are still good sitting at 12 volts so the next thing that i'm going to do is plug in this charger here and see where that jumps as you can see that's on the wires running down and over to there um we have only dropped there we dropped one it was at 12 volts and that's with nothing running on it granted a bright day it might not jump at all um, but what we're going to do is we're going to hook up a battery we're going to start charging we're going to see how low that gets or it maybe it's only going to drop another point and stay steady that sun's really trying to come out i'd like the sun to come out that way you could show that it will change on that upper part but right now with limited sun and a lot of clouds it's not doing so so right now just to recap this is plugged in to here the battery itself is plugged in down here. This is plugged directly into the battery. This is plugged into there. All right, so we have a 1500 milliamp an hour battery plugged in through series there. Um, it's a 7.4 volt, obviously it's a little bit low. That's the battery that we ran with the RC truck. And what we are going to do is monitor this. We're gonna go. So I need to select the channel, selecting that channel, pass parameters. Go back. Select task. Charge lipo 4.21. I like to have it at, and we're gonna start the task. Yes, but I don't want to balance it. I just want to charge it. So as you can see, that is drawing 0.6 amps, 1.1 amps. This has now dropped to 111.7. So it's not that bad. Um, it hasn't dropped that far. So this, I think, is going to be an ideal setup for me um, to charge my LiPo batteries. Generally, anymore, I only charge like one or two at a time. I can charge two off of this. And we're at 1.1 amps 
we're still 11.7 volts so this is gonna work for me um, again maybe in a maybe in another month or maybe even shorter than that I'm gonna get a hundred watt I'm gonna get a hundred watt ideally install it on the roof have the wires coming down and then have multiple batteries connected um, together that way I have more capacity same voltage but more capacity so after let's see what time we got six minutes and seven seconds we're still sitting at a steady 11.7 volts so it's really not depleting this battery that we have here um, so with it in combination of this solar panel the one that's outside because they are connected together now drawing energy into here even on a cloudy day running this which is running this it hasn't dropped and we've been running for six minutes and 36 seconds I think I have USB out here we're going to go ahead and plug into this USB and see what type of draw it'll get um, plugging something into there all right this charging bank here um, we have connected directly into USB and we've dropped down a little bit nothing crazy oh the sun might come out come on come out come on you can do it it's not gonna do it but uh, we're at 11.4 volts I'm gonna hang tight here Sun really wants to come out like we should come out you can see where it is it's like behind all those heavy clouds but 11.4 volts but we're still not getting a heavy draw on this we've been at this let's see almost 10 minutes on 1.1 amps um, the battery itself is at 7.56 um, this over here 11.4 volts and this there is a charging light on this something there we see uh, our blue LED indicator there to show it is charging and now it's actually gone up to 11.5 11.4 wish that sun would come out because I bet they're 11.5 so the brighter the sun gets the less of a draw this is taking this is going to be perfect for what I want to do and essentially it's a charging station again we're strong there it's jumping 11.4 11.5 which just shows me that uh we were at 11.4 now we have more power in here so the solar panels are doing the job despite the fact it's a cloudy day um I can run another plug off of this um we can run off of this uh, a little light if we wanted to but again, ideally, I'm going to have a bunch of these batteries down here connected uh, properly. That way I have a larger capacity battery. That way I have like four or five of these in a row and same voltage but higher capacity. That way, if I did want to put a heavier draw than just this and charging something, I could do so and it would probably act the same, if not do better than what this is doing. And again, we're at 11.5 volts just to show you this is still charging and we are at 10 minutes and 58 seconds charging at 1.1 amps and unfortunately the sun's not coming out otherwise that top would definitely show that uh, we had uh, some amperage coming in sun is kinda out it's trying I just wanted to show you oh, now it went away come on now updating as we do stuff here 11.6 11.5 11.6 so it's actually filling more than it's drawing even though it's cloudy because we were at I believe 11.4 and then jumped to 11.5 as you can see it's really trying to stay strong on that 11.6 on a cloudy day so sunny day weather this is going to be prime this is going to be epic um, right now we are recording or drawing power for 14 minutes and 37 seconds and we are fluctuating between 15 and 16 it really wants to stay on that 16 as you can see it's jumping to the 15 barely um, so it's definitely getting power gotten considerably cloudier we're back down to 11.4 so I want to try something though I'm going to actually stop this we're gonna stop stop so it's only jumped up to 11.5 with me stopping that we're gonna go ahead and let's just go ahead and disconnect I'm gonna disconnect that USB I just disconnect it we're at 11.8 
I want to see if that goes up any. It's really cloudy out, so this isn't the best time to really test this, but. So it's at 11.8 with nothing connected to it. We were at, when we started, we were at 12, 12.1. I'm going to put a little bit stronger draw on this battery. I'm going to go down here and we're going to increase the 1.5. That's that's your safe charging for a 1500 milliamp an hour. You just put a decimal, bam, right there, 1.5. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start the task. We're going to go over here. I'm going to click yes, but I'm going to do it so you can see this. We've clicked yes. Charging at 2 amps, 5 amps, 1 amp, 1.5. We're at 1.5 and we are down to 11.6. Which is still higher than what it was with the USB plugged into that. Um, we will go ahead and plug that back in. And what I'm doing here is just really giving you a gauge if you plan on doing this. Um, what you can expect on a cloudy day. Um, and then I guess we'll definitely have to do this on a sunny day. Now we're at 11.3, 11.4, jumped up to 11.4. If that sun would ever come out, uh, that'd be great to show in this video, but it doesn't seem like it's happening. Actually, it seems like we got a little bit of driplets on our windows, which my uh, solar panel here is protected because these windows are really flat lined out. Um, although I'm sure it's weatherproof. 11.5. Now we're charging a little bit faster. The higher amps on this, the faster we'll charge. We're at 7.7. .7. So we're going to let that go and then we'll come back to you. Maybe the sun will peak out and I can show you actually some serious power coming in because there's like no, not serious power coming in. There's a little power coming in. All right, guys. So you can see the sun on the solar panel. We'll go over here. You can see what it's taking in. It's late in the day. Um, so I'm 0.12 and you can see total voltage on our battery that was under 12 volts is now above 12 volts. So uh, again, ideally solar power you want to use on a sunny day. The sun has finally came out and we're getting a little bit of juice on it. Some late day juice. The sun's actually probably going to set within the next hour. And we are, we do have two solar panels running at the same time. But uh, I feel fairly confident this alone would result in base in the basic results that we're getting now. You can see it slowly dropping as the sun is going to probably likely go hide behind the cloud. Let's see. Yep. I don't know. We'll go up there. You can kind of see the clouds up there in the sun. Um, so definitely, I'm not, I'm not sending this back. I'm going to keep this. Uh, we're going to run the setup for a little bit longer and see how it goes. Because again, basically all I'm doing is taking this AC-DC converter, plugging it into there, and charging off of it. And especially on a sunny day, like with with clouds we had it set up is barely drawing on it on a sunny day we might actually be able to stay level where we're really not drawing any battery life because we have so much sun coming in that it's kind of like a level teeter-totter if you had two people the same weight on either side it's level where it's just charging the battery and we are not drawing off of this again sun you can see an input here it's not a strong input and i don't know maybe if i adjust it like that I just lifted the panel up so more of the panel is in direct light with it and that is working. So as you can see here, I have it lifted up higher and maybe there, look, we're at 32. So all depends on angle. Right now we're just messing around with stuff and drop down like that. We're at 0 .0 0 0.06. I'm going to tilt it towards it. We're at 0 0.32 and again, you can see what I've done here. I've tilted it towards it, 0.25. You could probably find that perfect sweet spot that's going to give you the best voltage. And look, we're at 12.2. 12.2, late in the day, we're charging, uh, we're charging pretty strong now. Um, and especially if I had that angled properly because we've dropped down to 0 0.06 with it kind of just laying flat here. We're gonna tilt it up one more time just so you guys get a gist of uh, how important your angle is. 
we have it sitting like that and if the other one was angled as well now we're at 0.35 um, we'd be charging even better. So, uh, things to work on here. Guys, I'm Jadron. If you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button. This, none of this stuff was given to me for review. I purchased it. I purchased it. Um, I purchased it. Uh, just for the sake of this whole, whole solar, solar type conversion that we're doing here with our light bulb batteries. And again, we have zero, even though the sun's out, we're going to tilt it up. And we're at 0 0.9. So be aware of that as well. But we are definitely up a little bit. 12.1. As more sun's coming in, it's hitting 12.2. So we're probably in between 12.1 and 12.2. Later.